Hi there, my lovelies. This is Jenna here. Welcome to my kitchen. So today, another childhood um, memory recipe. Amazing, so easy to make. This is Poppy, my little doggy. Today here is really, really hot. So she's breathing like that. The poor thing is feeling hot because hello, almost, I don't know, 35 degrees. So yeah, she's better now. So this is a cake. Uh, some sort of a crumble cake, but the, it has a very nice uh, history behind it. And I'll tell you uh, along the video. But uh, then, let me show you how I put it together. So first we're going to start with, uh, by making a crumble, okay? And uh, by that we're going to add flour to a bowl, then sugar, then vegan butter. And now you work it out delicately with the tip of your fingers. Until it becomes crumbly like that. Easy so far, okay, isn't it? I told you. Now you just uh, put it in the fridge because we don't want the butter to melt, okay? Set it aside. You can uh, also add a few drops of uh, vanilla if you want. It's not the traditional recipe, but if you want, you can do that. Or cinnamon also. Well, some moms in Brazil, they make with cinnamon. Cinnamon and some moms, uh, they don't, all right? So now we're going to proceed to make the actual cake, the batter. And it starts obviously with the uh, all-purpose flour, sugar, two mashed bananas that are going to act like the egg in the recipe, or two tablespoons of uh, green banana biomass. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click over here because there's a very nice recipe for a green banana biomass, which is a... Uh, it can be uh, an egg substitute as well as many other ingredients substitute. Check it out. And then we are going to add five tablespoons of vegetable oil and plant-based milk. And now we're going to work the batter delicately because cakes don't, as opposed to uh, breads, they don't, they don't, the flour in the cake doesn't like to be worked out so much. Uh, it's not good if we develop that much gluten in it, so mix it delicately, okay? And uh, also, you can add to the batter some cinnamon, uh, some um, vanilla if you want, no problem. But I prefer not to because I'm showing to you the recipe as it is in my family. So, when the butter is completely mixed through, you see no lumps except for the little lumps from the banana, that's totally normal. Then you are going to add the baking powder, okay? Again, mix delicately. All right, so now we're going to assemble the cake, which is like super easy. So first we're going to start by preheating the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. That will be 356 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, as always, when you're baking something, you must have your oven ready for when you're about to bake, because uh, if not, your batter won't uh, raise and the um, flour and the baking soda won't develop, so it's gonna be a mess, okay? Never forget that. I always preheat my oven at least 20 minutes before I bake something, okay? And now we're going to grease and flour a baking, either a baking dish or a baking tin. I decided to use a baking dish because, uh, so you can see all the layers. And I think that uh, one of the beauties about this cake is uh, all those beautiful layers, okay? Especially because we're dealing with grapes and they turn into this beautiful purpley color, which is amazing. So after you grease and flour it, now we're going to add the batter, okay? All of it. And then the grapes and then the crumble. Now, uh, originally this cake was made with grapes because um, back in the late um, 18th century, no, 19th century, uh, Brazil started taking after the, the slavery ended. So the farmers didn't have anybody else to work in the farm, especially coffee farms. So the Brazilian government took in uh, uh, Germans and Italians and uh, they uh, moved to the south because that's, that's where all those farms were located. And uh, that's why where I'm from in the south, there's a huge 
uh, uh, colonization of Germans and uh, Italians especially. So, and then they started uh, making uh, wine because that's what they knew, that's why especially Italians. And then they married Italians and Germans and a few Brazilians and uh, they started making wine. And with the leftover grapes, they started to invent new recipes. So you have all things grape in the South, um, jams, jellies, um, juices, which are still the best in Brazil, the ones from the South, and this cake, which in Brazil we call it cuca, which is originated from the word Kuchen, which is cake in German. I think it's beauty. All this melting pot of um, mixtures and cultures that created their own individual culture. It's beautiful. I love it. I love these um, miscegena miscegenation. Is there a word like that? I just invented one. Well, for a change. Part of the fun is my mispronunciation, isn't it? So you got the point. So that's the story behind it. And uh, every mom, every aunt, every grandmother, they all make that. And uh, if you're from Brazil, and especially if you're from the South, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let me know in the comments below what type of kuka your uh, family make, which is, um, is it the original one, the grape one, or the apple, or the banana, or the dulce de leche? Let me know. was a trip down memory lane so good oh my god I, I, I even have tears in my tears in my eyes because it's so it's so um, comforting that's the word it's like a, a hug in the shape of a cake I love it and that's why I wanted to share that with you because I only bring to you guys the recipes that I love the most it is not good I'm not making I don't care what kind of recipe if it's a hype or not first of all if it's hyping, then there's no need for me to make. I like to bring to you guys original recipes, veganized ones. And I know you like those. So let me know in the comments below if you will make it and what kind of fruit you're going to put it in. Because as I said before, it can be made with, a, um, let me see, strawberries, any kind of berry, grapes, um, peaches, what else? Uh, apples, of course, and bananas must. Let me know. Oh, guava. Uh, um, yeah, you can add that. Or, or guava jam, it's delicious. And this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. I absolutely love, love, love it. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and to my website because over there you're gonna get a free ebook. How about that? And I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye bye.